Good morning. It's always time for uh, debugging when you're a software engineer and I talked about maybe doing some debugging uh, instruction in the Q&A last night and seems like from a few questions on Piazza as well, um, where are my intent extras going etc. thought I'd um, just put through a quick video on how to do debugging in Android Studio. So without further ado, uh, let's have a look at the application we're going to debug. Uh, no surprise, it is going to be our GeoQuiz application. This is a version that I have after I've completed Chapter 2 Challenges. So there's no words on the buttons. These buttons are image buttons. Um, you can scroll back and forth through the questions and Canberra is the first question. You can scroll back to the last question. And we're going to introduce a bug into this application. The other thing that um, we can do is avoid cheating here. So just if you see some strange code um, as, I, as we debug um, this version, it remembers that you've answered a question and it disables the buttons uh, when you do. That's neither here nor there, I think, for this demo. But uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, that's the sort of anti-cheating. Um, you know, if you answer true, change your mind, answer false, you'll get it right in the end. Um, and they wanted to avoid that in this challenge. Anyhow, um, it's not about the challenge, it's about debugging. So um, let's uh, introduce a bug. So I've got a uh, quiz view model here. It has a question bank. We remember the current index of the question that we're displaying. And the text of the current question is with a getter. Current question, uh, is it enabled or not? We need to remember that. Um, that's part of the challenge. What is the current question? Have all questions been answered, etc. Um, I'm going to introduce a bug here. What we've got is we've got the move to previous. We take one off and then if it's less than zero, we add the question bank size left. Uh, and that puts us back to five, basically, so that we, we have six questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out this code and I'll put the logging in there. You'll see why in a minute. Um, let, let's run this code and let's look at logcat. So let's clear logcat. Let's uh, run the code and see uh, what we can find out. So if we stop the app and run the app now, and we hit the previous button, we crash. And nothing much useful shows up in Logcat. Unless you realize that um, the error isn't going to be tagged with the main activity or the view model. But let's turn off error filters and let's focus on errors like we were uh, shown in the Q&A last night. And if we scroll up, what we'll see is we'll see that there was a fatal exception in GeoQuiz and the problem is an array index out of bounds exception. And then what we have is what's called a stack trace. And I'll just take a minute to explain what a stack trace is. This is a thread of execution inside the Android phone that eventually has turned around to call our application in response to clicking the previous button. So when we click the previous button in perform click, and we read this upwards. So um, when we when we log the stack trace, it's everything that happened backwards in time. So if we start here and read upwards, we're going forwards in time. So the click was performed by the Android operating system. It's called our main activity here. And these links are in blue because these are our code. So we can see that it, it started by running the on click listener on line 55 which turns around and calls previous question which is on uh, access is checked through line 15 but it lands eventually on previous question now this line executed we moved to previous and then we're updating the question and while we're updating the question that's when we have an exception um, and so why is that um, so we'll look at Sorry, we look at update question and you'll see it's quizviewmodel.currentQuestionText. Um, so we're on line 111. Okay, um, it must be when we get in the current question text. You can see that this has been changed into a method get current question text because we're calling the getter here. Now we've switched to the view model. 
and it's when we're getting the current questions text basically we want to paint the next question onto the screen we can't do it because current index is minus one and it's out of bounds for the arrays which always start at zero so there's a that's how you use a stack trace that's how you understand a stack trace now let's see um, what happens if we go down here and you might say okay well this is where the exception happened but a bug was introduced in a different method altogether um, so you might suspect move to previous so let's pretend that we put a log line in here okay and now what we can do is run the application again and we can change this back to verbose and we can set our filters again you can see that we've just resumed our application and then if we click previous you can now see current index is set to minus one we just basically identified that oh you know just after this line it's minus one so there must be a problem here and that's how you can take advantage of using log lines if you want to see this main activity or view model filter um, it's actually pretty neat you can use a regular expression and you can actually literally say main activity and then a, a bar or a pipe and then quiz view model and that's regular expression for either or so that's how you can get your main activity and your view model to show up in your logs with a filter so now you know that the uh, that the um, problem is that uh, we're setting it to minus one here what if you uh, wanted to see how that happened you know um, what if you wanted to debug through and see exactly um, how this problem here translated into the exception or maybe we don't know what the problem is yet so if we switch to verbose and turn off filters uh, I want to go back uh, it's too far back I think okay what we'll do is um, we wanted to get I want to go to the activity and I want to say look at the very start where, what happens at the very start when we click the previous button so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the piece of code that happens when you click it must be in the click listener right so I've got a I had a breakpoint there so what I'm going to do is say if you click next to the number line 55 of this on click listener which is the entry point when we click the uh, previous button this is the first piece of code that Android runs let's put a breakpoint here and let's now debug and see how we can use the debugging tools of Android Studio. So if we click debug, debug up there instead of run, you'll see that our application runs just the same. And then let's click previous and we should stop our execution at line 55. And we do. So you can see that we're, uh, we've just come from the onClick method and we're running the uh, onClick listener here. So now there's a few things, uh, three main things that you can do to move around and navigate while you're paused here um, and looking at the uh, execution. You can step over the current line and that would mean that we would just exit the onclick listener, which wouldn't be very interesting yet. What we want to do is step into a method, step into the current line. So we want to look at what happens inside the previous question method. And the other thing you can do is step out uh, of the current method if you if you uh, so need to and that's how you move around so let's move around let's step into previous question you can see this is a private function in the activity and what we do is we say look view model you move to previous and then let's update our question on the screen this is like the refresh view so um, let's step into uh, the quiz view model move to previous and you'll see that we actually flip to the quiz view model and while you're here uh, oh, let's step over the current index current index minus one you can see we get told that the current index is minus one you can also very handily open up the variables here and you can see all the variables in this uh, view model most of these are probably going to be view model and Kotlin things, but the current index and the question bank are available for inspection. And you can open up and see 
individual questions and answers and so on. Um, the, while you're here and debugging and you might be interested in the current state of variables, I want to show you how to uh, that you can use a evaluate expression tool and it brings up a dialog and uh, I guess it if you have something highlighted it gives you an expression. So if we wanted to see what the current index was, um, quiz view model of this current index, if we evaluate that, it gives me a problem. So why don't we just say current index evaluate it gives me minus one if i wanted to for example look at uh, the third question you could do that too and evaluate that as well so um, you can also uh, change it to an expression to just have one line that's probably what it does by default anyway this is very handy for inspecting values or running code um, to find try and work out what's gone wrong well, we know what's gone wrong here. Current index is minus one. Um, and let's debug further and see how we get to the exception. So what we're going to do now is uh, step over the log line. And if we have a look at the console, you can see that that was logged. So there's a debugging console as well, just here. And then uh, we can step over. We come back to the previous method. And we're going to update the question. So let's step into update question. Now we're going to step into current question text, which is a method. So we step into current question text. And you can see here that we're about to have an exception. Current index is minus one, and we're going to run this expression. So let's do let's step over that code. And what you'll see is that an expression gets thrown and it gets caught by Android by Android code. So if we step over that. We get an exception if you step over one more time and you look at the values that are in this looper class that we're, is in the Android operating system, you'll see the exception. You'll see the exception. You can also open up and see the stack trace and you can navigate by clicking uh, to, to anything in the stack trace. And remember, again, we read stack traces upwards. Uh, uh, up, reading them upwards, it goes forward through time. So um, you can see what the exception was. Um, now the last thing uh, that I'm going to teach you is uh, to resume the program. You can just hit the big play button. And what we'll see is our app crashed and we have all the exceptions that we had as usual. But now we've debugged through. But we know how to fix this problem. If you get negative, just uh add the question bank dot size back you'll roll to the last question so now let's debug again and you can see that uh after we debug um we can look at the console install finish successfully now what happens again now if we hit the previous button we're still going to hit that breakpoint because we're debugging maybe we and that's fine um, and then let's just uh, step through and see um, how this is fixed. So let's just step over, move to previous, and go into update question, and then go into the current question text. You can see now that current index is 5, and we're going to be fine. So uh, if you hit play to resume, let's just go back. Okay. It's going to be really annoying if we keep hitting previous uh, now and hitting this breakpoint. So what you can do is you can mute the breakpoints and then you can test the rest of the application. So you can test that the previous button just keeps working like that. So I think that's all for uh, how we can do some debugging. I hope that helps you debug. Maybe you want to use it in your result activity on create just to make sure that you're reading the right values for your intent extras. Uh, that would be one uh, uh, situation where I'd recommend uh, if you don't understand what's going on, debugging might help. So um, good luck and thanks for listening.